fingers crossed. Why am I not showing up? What the hell? I really hate this. Where's Chrome? You know, I kill Chrome. Okay. I'm gonna cross our fingers and hope that worked. There we go. Okay. Hopefully that's fixed. <laughs> Jesus. I cannot believe how many little things just throw everything off. You'd think it'd just be simple as that, but it is not. I'm working on a pre-checklist for building and, and doing anything, and I have a rough version of it. I have not officially declared it completed. Take me longer to take this thing apart than it did to put it together. Well, no, that's not true. It took me a lot longer to put it together as lava. <laughs> okay. I probably should have left the tool or two out just to help me take some of this stuff apart. Oh, at least there's a bit of a breeze coming in. I remember, okay, that's okay, that's okay. But this piece, not this one, this little tile's tricky. But this is one tough piece. I had some real work trying to get this to snap together properly. Come on, come on. I got gotcha. you. Let's go. There we go. Ah, good. I can't remember how many more interesting ones are in here. I've been trying to think of uh, things to do to show my appreciation for followers and all of that. I'm not sure yet. I think Nick's got a great way of doing it. But can't very well do that. That would be copying. That's not fair. <laughs> I thought maybe I'd do a 3D build in Blender and take pictures of each one for, you know. I also thought about hitting um, photo on the camera. Let's see if uh, the exact time a, a follow comes through. And then post that to my website. My website's not up yet, but I am in the process. See, I don't have that little toy that takes things apart. Come on. Uh, no, we're going to have to use the dreaded tools. I don't want to use the dreaded tools. That's terrifying. Oh, there's two people here. Hi, how are you? My name's Arctic. This is Arctic's Empire. This is uh, 
one of my Lego shows. This is part two of this Lego is lava. So what happens is I build a set without physically touching with my fingers. So I got tools for that. And I'm going to time that. And then I'm going to take the whole thing apart and put it back together the normal way and time that and see what the difference is. Okay, that is not working. Oh my god, get that apart. Give me a second. Oh. These are some of the tools I use to build. I'm just curious as to what do I got in here that might help me. Oh, someone left. Sorry. <laughs> I'm guessing it's because I'm not doing my mad experiment. <laughs> People don't want to hang around. I'm beginning to think my one viewer might be a system scan by someone. As I've said before, I think there's about four names I see all the time. One guy made comment about a lot of the traffic on his site is, uh, it's just crazy. You just The screen is just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And apparently it's people trading off follows. No, that's, uh, people made it very clear. That is definitely a no-no. Trading follow for follow is not the way to go about this. Developing your stream. So needless to say, I don't do that. But hence he seems to be running around searching. He did actually follow me briefly and then he <laughs> took it back. Guess because I wasn't following him. Huh? Okay, now I am not going to undo the string on this either. I did tie it without touching the string. That was fun. That was uh, a... <laughs> a surgeon would have had no problem. But I am not a surgeon, so and don't look. Oh, damn it! Come here, I got gotcha. you. Oh. At least that one was easy to find. Is often not the case. Damn! I'll be right back. Don't worry, I can... There we go. Been experimenting with this small microphone. Um, in the warm weather, and who wants to wear headphones? I mean, that's just uncomfortable. <laughs> Your ears sweat and it's gross. Plus, I'm having troubles with my sound. For some reason, I can't play. I mean, my monitor, my, I mean, I'm running the laptop right now, but I can't get any sound out of it. Something's gone wrong there, so I have to fix that. So I'm actually streaming with my laptop, and I'm watching the output footage on a small tablet. So I can actually see that, you know, the show seems to be doing okay. The sound seems okay to me as well, but I haven't got it turned up too loud because I don't want to run into a possible feedback problem. Like I have enough problems as it is. Don't look, you didn't see that. I don't have the nails I used to. So hi to anyone out there. I see there's supposed to be two people. Okay. I guess I didn't catch the train on that one. Oh well.
Let's see. What is going on? Yeah. There's one name I don't recognize. The other three, yeah. I think those are system scanning. <coughs> People scanning the whole thing. Yeah, okay, so I can't take that apart, and I'm not going to. <laughs> Okay, it's completely disassembled. I don't think I need that anymore. Jaws of torture are no longer required. So let me grab my cell phone and start up a timer. Okay, so we're down there, we're down there, we're over here. Okay. Okay, so let's start and see how long it takes me to actually put this thing together. I'm going to use this book because it's easier for me. I'm still working on screen problems. Like I said before, I'm not gonna try and speed build this. I'm just, you know, I'd actually like to enjoy what I'm doing <laughs> rather than uh, speed build it. I went through enough stress trying to build this without touching it. I have to figure out some way of keeping the pieces all together. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind these two little boxes, but actually the tools are supposed to go in here. So I guess I'm going to be off to a, a dollar store. <laughs> find some kind of train or something to put these all in. Okay. That's step three done. Oh, that I keep ready to do this. Okay, so that's two, three, two, three. Okay, now I'm on step three. That's step three. Oh, that works. I can actually watch from here. Oh, no, I can't change the size. If I change the size on the PDF reader, it alters the size in the window. So I should actually have a big notebook and write everything down as I'm learning the, the good and the bad of what I'm doing. Okay. Lucky. These are not rolling. They normally do. I have a slanted floor. I live in an old heritage building, so when they renovated it, they just restored the original long plank floors. They sanded them and then, you know, bar barathened them or whatever, whatever they did. And then uh, they left it, so there's gaps in the floor and everything bows, so my apartment slants. It drops 12 inches over 18 feet. So it actually bows. So my apartment and the apartment beside me, the floor actually sags to a center point. So all the floors sag from the front to the back, the side to the side. And the line between our two apartments is actually the low point for the building. So needless to say, yeah, things roll. And the other problem is that a lot of the planks have large gaps in them. So there's a good chance if I drop something, I could lose it forever. I mean, certain places with a pair of tweezers, I might be able to get a piece back. But yeah, that's my biggest fear, actually, is losing something forever. Uh, okay. One to four, so you go there. Okay, 
So I need two of these. I lost one of these. I was trying to put it on, and I'm not sure which tool I was using, but it lost its grip and shot it across the floor. Um, I had to get a flashlight. I found it in the first 30 seconds, so I locked out. But normally something like this disappears in here, and I might have to just write it off, which I really don't want to do. I take pride in keeping my Lego all together. one still see two viewers feel free to say hi I am surprised at just how much there is to learn about streaming I mean you got the technical situation which given the equipment I'm using I mean some of the equipment's great Unfortunately, the backbone of it all, the computers being used or not, they're dated. So you got the technical parts, and then you have additional technical parts to try and make everything work and coordinate properly. And then on top of that, you actually have to do your show. So you, know, you got to make sure you got everything set up and ready to go. And then, you know, talking during your show, just you know, entertaining people. You know, I keep trying to remember to look at the screen to see if anyone's asked a question. I'm pretty sure I keep forgetting to do that. Uh, <laughs> Although for the most part I've been in here by myself. I was lucky I had uh, two people watching yesterday and they were kind enough to follow. She was very nice of them. Someone from Nick's um, Nick mentioned my uh, crazy idea for a show, <laughs> and uh, somebody friended me, uh, followed me right from there. I greatly appreciate it. I admit, I'm used to talking to myself a lot, so maybe that's going to help, maybe that's not. I don't know. It's a little bear. And then you go there. Okay. Uh, that one and that one. that one. Yeah. I have to get in the routine of making sure I'm. You guys are on the same page that I'm working on, or making sure you know. I don't want to leave anyone behind. A bit rude, and inconsiderate, which I certainly don't wish to be. Just debating, perhaps we should. Trying to figure out camera angles and stuff, and lighting. And <laughs> it's been an adventure, and I have not been at this very long. Most of my videos were actually me playing WoW. I uh, played the beta of um, Battle for Azeroth. Leveled a hunter from 110 to 120. So that's most of my. I've I got a few Lego videos, but uh, I'm hoping to do maybe four nights of Lego shows, maybe three. I mean, I plan on doing one for two hours, and then a different type of Lego show after that, and then just rotate through them through the course of the week. Uh, yeah, I don't do decals. I leave them so they're in mid condition. Why? I don't know. I don't really intend to ever sell my Lego. Same with my comic books. I have no intention of selling them. Well, I sold the ones that I didn't care much about. You know, but uh, I definitely kept the ones that had true meaning. Which I imagine what most of us do. Okay, we are at seven... Almost eight minutes. Apparently this is going to take longer than I thought. Mind you, I mean, I'm trying to pay attention to what I'm doing. Okay, so we got the wheels already made. So 
We save ourselves a few seconds there. Okay, so he's done. They're both done now. We're on to the next one. Okay, so that's one. Okay. So I need one angle brick, and you go there. The other thing I found interesting is that as I'm trying to do Legos Lava, the main camera for watching all this is in front of me. So I have to turn everything around to make sure that you guys can see what I'm doing, to, uh, get you closer into the work. But my instructions are set and oriented for me working from this side. So I actually made mistakes yesterday. I realized that by turning things around to work on it, I got things backwards and forwards. And so I would not have made a very good dentist. So now I need to grab one of these little guys and a brown version. Where did you go? Oh, you're there somewhere. There we go. Okay, so. Okay. Still have to figure out all the delays with the cameras. I started playing around with that yesterday. Which probably I'm going to do all day tomorrow is try and refine everything here. I didn't do it today because I was cycling. And that took a good part of the day, more than I intended. That recovering. <laughs> I wound up having a nap. A bit of one, anyway. See, you know, I keep forgetting them. keep you guys in the loop. Oh, I think I recall making mistakes in here as well. I had everything backwards the way I'm used to working. And these little devils, they can be a real problem with tweezers. Missed the train, as it were. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Why is the bottom one brown? Oh, because it's the trunk of a tree? That's okay, I guess. <laughs> One of these goes. Ah ha ha! Yeah, this is where I made my mistake. The last time. Shift it back one more, so there's a space, so I can put that there. And then this one goes there. And take set that aside for the moment. Uh, side is better. That sounds better. Okay. So. And we're down to one viewer. Well, the EFE looks good. It 
Looks like I got part of my technical problem solved. The only thing to really, yeah, it's just a, yeah, the major, yeah. I'm still gonna figure out where to put the two side cameras. I mean, I realize the lighting for this is bad. And the other camera really isn't showing, well, it's showing a bit of what I'm doing, but in terms of telling a story, it's not exactly uh, offering much. Tarantula. You actually supposed to do that one. Right. So, Tarantula. And, oh, one more. Is oh. I supposed to put them together? Oh, damn. I forgot to put the people together. What color are your pants? Your pants are blue. Okay. Okay. In goes the pin. Whoops. In goes the pin. And in goes the pin. That's done. And now we'll just put you together. You get a hat. There we go. So you're done. And that is done. Now we will move to the next one. Okay. There we go. Now it's time for the helicopter. I'll just put you over there for now. Whoops. Mm, someone else popped in here. Hello. My name's Arctic. Welcome to Arctic's Empire. This is the third Lego episode that I'm working on. I'm just finishing up my second series. Uh, don't know if you saw it. Yesterday I finished this set but I did it uh, with Lego as lava which means you can't touch them with your hands so I built everything and then when I was getting near the end somebody in chat asked me how long they thought it would, how long I thought it would take me to do this the normal way and I said 15 20 minutes so well that give me that idea. okay well let's find out from now on when I do a build uh, through doing the Lego, Lego's Lava. After I'm done, I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to put it back together the normal way and time it. So I'm at 17 minutes. So it looks like yeah, half an hour, maybe. And then after I'm done this, I'm going to break out a Technic set, which will be a normal, just straightforward, traditional build. Somewhere down the line, I, I hope to try and do Lego's Lava with Technic sets, but um, I know there's going to be a lot of difficulties with, with it. So I gotta figure out how to work all that out. I promise I will be adding music to this soon. <laughs> I have music running on my other system. I actually stream using two different computers. Um, computer, my main computer is in a different room, and it's not laid out properly for me to be able to do this. So I have a separate setup here in this in this room with my laptop. So I've managed to get music running on the other one. No, that's an eight. Uh, oh yeah, okay. 
uh, as I said before, because this was already pre-built, I was not going to take strings apart. I'm not going to take tires apart. Oh, hi, thank you. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. What brings you here? You're just uh, cruising around Twitch and three yet, three yet. Okay. Yeah. So certain things I'm not going to take apart. I mean. Dealing with wheels, I mean, these wheels aren't such a problem to take apart and put back together. But the landing gear specifically, I had to put the rubber on the rim and I managed to do it without touching it with my bare hands. But this is just not something I want to take apart and put back together again, over and over and over. So, yeah, I'm not going to... And same thing with the string. I did originally tie it with a couple of uh, hemostats. So I managed to tie a knot here and a knot there. And I'm not going to do it again, so <laughs> I'm just going to continue on with the build. Oh, with them impeding my... They're getting in the way. <laughs> but I think these are the only ones I have to worry about. Um, oh, thank you. Yeah, this is um, part two. I do th I'm doing three LEGO types of shows. Um, the first one I started with was um, this Lego's Lava. So you build a set without touching them. So you need lots of tools, tweezers and, and stuff like that. So I did the build and then something someone said made me think that I should actually redo the build again, just building things the traditional way. So right now I'm at 20 minutes. The actual, this Lego's Lava build took me I think roughly four hours to put this together. Maybe three? I have to check the footage. I'm not entirely sure how long it took me. It took a while. I'm guessing Nick streams over for the day. I know he was streaming earlier. I was watching his show. It's a really good show. What kind of Lego do you like to build? I'm normally a Technic person, but I kind of fell into the city ones, and I, I really enjoy building them. But normally I'm a Technic person. What about you? Oh, he's done for that? Okay. Weird. It wasn't that stiff yesterday when I put this together. It's odd. Oh well. Whatever, whatever. I'm gonna keep going. Yeah, I was watching a show. I really like a show. Oh no, I'm sorry. You're into the. Oh yeah, the space stuff. Um, the newer space stuff or the old vintage stuff? Because I have some of the old vintage stuff. Brickheads, I have my ex-roommate, he does the brickheads thing. These brickheads are a lot more complicated than I 
I thought. So fantasy would also include what, Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter? The 80s and the, yeah. All blue tiles and gray tiles. The spaceship one's really great. Yeah, I have a lot of the older sets. Um, I was thinking about doing a vintage show, bringing out the old stuff and doing that separately. I realize that a lot of the younger people probably never seen some of them. <laughs> I love the way you could just take all the spaceships and play around and make bigger ones and smaller ones and ones that fit in the smaller ones and all of that. I just that's the part I, I really liked about Legos. Back in those days, they weren't so specific. I know that uh, Lego had financial problems when they were doing that Explorer set stuff. And people's criticism were that the sets were so, pieces were so specific and unique that you really couldn't build anything else. They were very limited in, in imagination. You couldn't use pieces for different purposes. So they almost went out of business. I guess they sat down and figured it out and went back to making sets that you can just experiment and play around with. Okay, I have made a mistake. Ah, I skipped a page by accident. Okay. Let's see, two greens. Two reds. Get out. Oh, damn. Uh, you know what? We're going to change the color scheme. <laughs> Okay, so now I put this on backwards last night, but I managed to get it off without touching it with my fingers. Apparently, uh, <laughs> Nick mentioned he'd seen my show last night. <laughs> he says I'm crazy for trying to put Lego together the way I was. It's like, yeah, it's. It's a, definitely an idea. Who knows, maybe years from now we'll see speed building. A whole line of tools designed to... Ones you don't have to worry about damaging the Lego pieces. That's my other worry. Losing them or damaging them. Almost all my Lego is in mint condition except for three pieces I can think of. One's an axle, one's a plate, like six wide, about that long. 
it's broken in half. And there's another little piece that's broken. I think other than that, they're all perfect working order. So you still build with Lego or? It's nice that because I already built this once, I'm a little more familiar with the pieces, so it's easier to find them. <laughs> For the most part, of course, knock on wood. I'm probably going to bite me in the backside having said that. Murphy's Law, being an actual person, really likes to ruin your day. And I had a slight error with that yesterday as well. <laughs> How old are these, man? I mean, I remember these as a kid. These things have been around since the 80s. I can't imagine how many I own. <laughs> and when did they start putting a slot in the bottom? I didn't notice that before. I assume there's a purpose for it. Maybe not for this set, but maybe others. Ooh, hard drive. Yeah, I've had that happen. Was it um, a hard drive or was it an SSD? In all the years I've owned computers, I've had one hard drive fail. I think I've had one actually fail when I was using it, and I think I had a second one that started to go, but I managed to save everything. The only problem is when you transfer files and all that kind of thing, you end up putting them in folders, and then you forget where everything is, and it's almost to the point where you're better off just dumping it all and starting from scratch. If you don't remember what it was, maybe it wasn't that important in the first place. Oh, that's who it was. I just figured out who the other watcher was. It's me. <laughs> I stream with the laptop, but I can't use the browser at the same time, or it, I run into a serious lag problem. So I've actually got a, an Amazon Fire tablet right here running the show. <laughs> so it's just you and this thing <laughs> here right now. How long have you been streaming? I have an SSD now and they are fast. Like, it really is remarkable. The one thing I didn't know is they work differently than hard drives. So when it saves data and then you delete something and it doesn't move the data, like, it stays there. And it doesn't reuse that location, those locations until it's filled up the entire drive apparently and then it starts reusing things because apparently the memory is, won't you can't continuously read and write and read and write and keep writing over it's not like a hard drive the switches only last for so many states to be changed so it fills up the drive first and then it'll start changing data uh, my dad had an SSD start to go on him 
he asked me about the problems. I didn't know what it was. He took it in, and that's when the guy said, yeah, SS, especially first-generation SSDs do that. They get a little funny once they filled up, and then they start re, uh, overwriting data. Eight months. Cool. Guessing you've worked out a lot of the technical problems. I can't believe how many technical problems there are in doing something as simple as this. Do you stream full time? Or is it a hobby? Yeah, I was not prepared. I thought, you know, you just hit, you know, hit stream and off you go. And no, no. Not if you want an organized show, a planned one. I mean, gaming isn't so bad. You just you know, make sure your title's right and off you go. But uh, to do something creative like this, yeah. Well, I have these three Lego shows. I also game. And I got a bunch of ideas for um, fictional vlogs. So yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to do a, a wide range of variety stuff. Yeah, and I'm now looking at trying to do basically full-time. I mean, I'm just starting out, but yeah, I like to do full-time, just get a part-time job on the side to help pay the bills. I'm at 35 minutes. I think I'm, when it does, when it comes to this, I might actually just do a speed build off camera and post that because it's nice to actually sit here and talk to somebody. So my my times are not great. It does make it a lot easier when you have someone to talk to. More interesting. Yeah, I'm into that. I've got like three microphones. I got a headset with a microphone. I've tried that. I don't mind it too much. Just the headset I have, I'm not very happy with. It's a normal three and a half millimeter plug. My previous headsets for gaming were Logitech uh, USBs, which I liked a lot more. But. I've been through three of those and I finally bought this one. I'm not too happy with it. Plus, they don't fit over the ear properly. They're round. They're not oval. So you get a little pressure on the bottom of your ear. Yeah, not much for that. I have a proper condenser mic with a boom. But in this room, I'm on a busy main street in a small town. So you can hear traffic going by with it. So I'm now trying this thing, this little, I'm going to call it a lapel mic which, from what I can tell, works fairly well. Uh, I know there's a slight hum in the background. I'm used to talking to myself, actually, but unfortunately, I tend to mumble. So now I have to remember to enunciate now that I'm actually talking to someone. And I also find, because I live alone, I, I don't talk to people that much, which means when I mumble, I'm not really projecting my voice. So. The first few streams I did, I found I had no power behind my voice just to speak normally. <laughs> so it took a little while to get my voice warmed up. I wish I could run TV or something, but I don't want to run into any of that um, 
digital rights stuff and whatnot. Because I'd be quite happy running TV shows off to the side if I'm going to be in here by myself for the most part. But of course, there's no way around that really. Okay, so did I miss a step again? No, I did not. Ah, okay, cool. <laughs> The windshield. The windshield. Doing that without my fingers was fun. Went better than I thought. That's actually what you're hearing a lot in that video. It went better than I thought. Yeah, I see a lot of people playing, you know, copyrighted music and whatnot, and I'd like to avoid getting in trouble for it right off the bat. Think it was me? I think no. Actually, no. There's no way that came out of a machine that way. So yeah, that was my fault. That one's a little damaged. So your system for streaming, you, know, you forged up to have one of the high-powered systems <laughs> with a. 1080, what is it, GTX 1080 graphics card? <laughs> okay, well, I appreciate you stopping by. Had a chance to chat, and I really appreciate the follow. Everyone helps. Everyone counts. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to get a chance to catch your show. Actually, I may have. Not sure. I'm not logged in under my normal account, so I can't tell. But I may have followed you already. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you have a good day, Maddie. Hopefully, see you soon. Okay, you know, what's going on here? Well, it is definitely not good. Oh, shoot. I was about to say, how the hell did I lose one? I just took the damn thing apart. My nephew's running a GTX 970. He uses that for streaming. I know that's a good one. The, um, as I understand, the, the 1080s are not much faster than that. That's a really good card. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
propeller. Propeller. Boom, 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 boom. And this thing. Uh, yeah, that's a tight fit for that one. I was surprised at that. Not get ahead of ourselves. I think it's one of the first new helicopters, so I'm not used to seeing this kind of an assembly for the rotors. This was new to me. Forty-five minutes. <laughs> that took a lot longer than I expected. Uh, let's see. Where's the timer? Uh, oh, there it is. Who's that? Okay. Okay, now, yeah, this stool is killing me. I'm going to have to redo the desk. Build it up higher so I can stand, because, yeah, sitting is just killing me. So I think because of that, I may cancel this, well, call it an early night. Damn, I was hoping to do more. Well, I was going to stream for another hour anyway. Uh, let's see. That. Oops. That is supposed to be the next build. This is a normal build. So one cool, man. There we go. And this one, and I was planning on being the next. This Lego is lava build. I think this one, yeah. I have another set that's 500. I'm gonna probably do that one after this one. Yeah, I'm going to call it. I have more things to think about, and i got to redo the lighting and whatnot. So, um, yeah, my name's Arctic. This is Arctic's Empire. And I will see everyone tomorrow. Well, yeah, well, I don't think there's not much point in raiding anyone. <laughs> it's just me. Not to mention, I'm not sure. Sure, if I can raid from Streamlabs OBS, I'll throw it up on it. Well, whatever. Um, I'll, hopefully, I'll see people tomorrow. Okay? Have a good night. Bye.